Hi everyone, welcome to lecture 58 in EDC course. In this lecture, we will discuss some problems on the BJT operation. So the objective of this lecture is to discuss 5 problems on BJT circuit. So if any BJT circuit is given, suppose if I want to find terminal current that is collector base and emitter terminal currents or uh, voltages like a VBE, VC and so on. So we need to follow two methods or procedures that is in the first method first method or procedure I will assume that assume the transistor assume the transistor is in active mode or active region so when I assume the transistor is in active region so what are the conditions so VBE will be 0 0.7 volt if this is satisfied that means emitter base junction is forward bias and remember this is for NPN transistor then collector base junction should be reverse bias so collector means so for that I will take this symbol so this is the collector voltage base voltage emitter voltage so VBE is point on means emitter base junction forward bias so how to make collector base junction reverse bias it is NPN that means if VC is greater than VB or VCB is positive for NPN transistor then we can say collector by junction is reverse bias then when we find some currents etc so we will get the voltages something like this that means whatever we assumed that is correct then we whatever we found that is IE, IB and IC are correct and uh, this uh, equation that is IC is equal to alpha times IE or IC is equal to beta times IB all are valid the second method is we will assume that the transistor is in saturation region so generally for gate point of view first method is enough first we will assume it is in active region if these two conditions are not satisfied then the transistor will be in saturation region right and if at all so some voltages are not matching so it may be in cutoff region or reverse active mode also right so rarely we will get, we will get those type of questions like a cutoff so by uh, seeing the voltage uh, values we may guess cutoff region or reverse active but generally if it is an active region or saturation region so we need to follow these methods so we will assume the transistor is in the transistor is in saturation region so that means we need to apply some voltage that is VBE sat for NPN 0.8 volts and VCE sat 0.2 volts for silicon transistor so for germanium I have given the table also so please refer that to table typical parameters of NPN transistor then so then we will find some uh, currents etc so finally we should see one parameter that is the whatever we find so by assuming this we will find IE, IB and IC then we need to check one if IB whatever we find IB if it is greater than IB min and how to find IB min so IB min is equal to IC so whatever we found by beta so the beta will be, uh, value will be given so using that beta and uh, this IC current so we can find IB minimum so if this IB minimum is less than this IB then we can say the transistor is in saturation region so if this is not satisfied then the transistor may be in active region right so based on these two methods I'm going to discuss uh, five problems so we'll see one by one and uh, again all these questions are taken from the textbook called Integrated Electronics by Milman and Halkias. So this is the circuit is given. This is the NPN transistor in common emitter configuration. See, emitter is connected to a reference terminal. So emitter is common between base and collector. So find the transistor currents and given beta is 100, ICO, reverse saturation current is also given 20 nano amperes. Very simple one. So First I am assuming, assume transistor is in active region. 
so active region so active region means so what is the vbg so vbg is 0.7 volts and always remember the bjd circuits if i want to solve only we need two laws kvl and kcl and nodal analysis so if i know kirchhoff current law and kirchhoff voltage law and nodal analysis nodal analysis then we can solve any bjt circuit it may be in edc it may be in analog circuits right that's it so i can find ib right by applying kvl in this loop so i'm touching first negative terminal of this battery so minus 5 plus this uh, voltage so plus minus so always remember for resistance the current will enter into the positive terminal so plus ib into 100 kilo ohms plus this one 0 0.7 is equal to 0 so what is ib this is going that side so 5 minus 0 0.7 so 4.3 by 100 kilo so it will be 4.3 into 10 to the power minus 2 milliampere so if i take one more zero then I'd, it will be 43 it will be 10 to the power minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 so it will become 10 to the power minus 6 so ib will be 43 micro amperes if i know ib and beta is given so i can find ic ic is equal to beta times ib so it is 100 into 43 micro so it can be 4.3 milliamperes right so this is ic then what is ie summation of these two ic plus ib so that will be something like this 4.343 milliamperes so we need to add these two terms so this is ib ic and ie then it is not over it so we need to find the collector voltage and base voltage then we can uh, comment on the collector base junction we know we assumed already vbe is 0 0.7 volt so how can i write vbe vb minus ve is equal to 0 0.7 volt so see here the emitter terminal is connected to ground so what is the emitter voltage that is ground that means zero so what is vb 0 0.7 volts that means vb is greater than ve so n p n so this p n junction is followed by us then i know vb then what is, we need to find vc very simple apply kvl here so this is the vc so always remember whenever we are finding the this uh, terminal voltage so with respect to the reference terminal so we can apply kvl like this and here we may get doubt so this is the plus 10 so that means it will be from grounded so grounded means minus terminal so if i go like this minus 10 plus ic into 3 kilo plus vc so i'm touching positive side of this uh, collector uh, terminal so plus vc is equal to 0 so what is vc 10 minus ic ic we got 4.3 milli into 3k kilo milli cancel out so 10 minus 4.3 into 3 so it is vc is minus 2.9 volts this is vc and the vb we got how much 0.7 volt now for npn transistor so n means something like this so this is the vc this is vb and this is ve so vc we got minus 2.9 VB we got 0.7 now tell me this uh, PN junction is which mode or which bias see P side is connected to 0.7 volt and N side is connected to minus 2.9 so that means VB is greater than VC what is this meaning the collector base junction is followed by us so whatever we assume that is wrong right so that means the finally the transistor the transistor is in saturation region so whatever we found all currents are wrong so again we need to assume the transistor is in saturation region 
that means VBE sat 0.8 volts and VCE sat 0.2 volts then we need to find again IE, IB and IC so I hope it is clear now we will find again the currents so I will go very fast so 3 kilo ohms 10 volts so this is 100 kilo ohm this is 5 volts plus minus anyway this is grounded so now VCE this is the collector VC this is the emitter so what is this voltage 0 0.2 volt VBE 0.8 volt then we can find IC, IE and IB so again IB so apply KVL directly I can write IB is equal to 5 minus 0 0.8 by 100 kilo so it is 4.2 by 100 kilo or we can say 0.42 milli ampere no 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 point zero four two milli ampere so zero point zero four two milli ampere then V E is connected to ground so it is zero that means what is V C point two volts then what will be the IC so again uh, what you call KVL otherwise we can go like this so this is one volt this is another voltage what is the current Ohm's law so ten minus point two by three kilo so it is nine point eight by three milli ampere so I see is 9.8 divided by 3 3.26 or 3.27 milliamps if I add this to I will get IE so 3.27 plus 0 0.042 so it will be 3 point so 7 plus 4 11 so 3.3 one two milliampere is the IC sorry IE and again beta is given 100 so what is the condition IB should be greater than IB min what is IB 0 0.042 milli IB min formula IC by beta what is IC we got 3.27 milli by beta is 100 so what is this value 3.27 by 100 so 3.27 divided by 100 0 0.0327 milli so two zeros will go top so 0 0.042 milli is it correct or wrong it is satisfying 0 0.04 will be greater than 0 0.03 both are in milliampere so finally conclusion is the transistor is in saturation region and the currents are this one, this one and this one. I hope it is clear. If you are hanging it out, please post a comment. Next we will see one more question. So for the circuit shown, assume beta is 100. Find if the silicon transistor is in cutoff saturation or in active region. And also find V0. So this is the PNP transistor is given. Right? So we need to find the transistor is in which region. Then we need to find V0 also. So in this case, uh, I will assume the transistor is in saturation region first. So, assume the transistor is in saturation region. So that means, now see PNP. So, plus minus VEB 0.8 volts. Remember, for PNP, VEB sat 0.8 volt. VEC sat 0.2 volt if it is a silicon transistor right otherwise VBE minus 0.8 VE, VCE minus 0.2 volts right so this is 0.8 and this will be 0.2 volt so we need to apply KVLs here in this loop and in this loop and so on so what are the current directions first we will see so IE will enter like this IB will leave the base and IC will leave the collector right so then we can go KVL something like this right so first I am uh, writing the KVL here so this is IE so IE into RE that is 500 ohms plus 0.8 plus IB into 7 kilo ohms minus 3 volt is equal to 0 so here minus 3 right 
so IE into 500 plus IB into 7000 is equal to 3 minus 0.8 so 2.2 equation 1 similarly we can go like this so that is IE into 500 plus 0.2 here see here then IC into 3 plus IC into 3 kilo so here minus 10 so it should be written like this so minus and plus and this is grounded so minus 10 is equal to 0 so again IE into 500 plus IC into 3 kilo is equal to 10 minus 0.2 9.8 equation 2 see IE IB and IC three unknowns two equations not possible what is another equation we know IE is equal to IB plus IC this is equation 3 here you may get confused can't we use IC is equal to V dot times IB no this is not possible right so we have to use this as a third equation so if I uh, substitute IC here so IC is equal to IE minus IB then we will get two unknowns two equations then we can solve it so you so 3 in 1 so IE into 500 plus IE minus IB into 3 kilo see IC I am substituting here is equal to 9.8 so 3000 this is 500 so 3500 IE minus 3000 IB is equal to 9.8 this is equation 4 and equation 1 is 500 IE plus 7000 IB is equal to 2.2 equation 5 or equation 1 so we have to solve these two so by using Calci or by multiplying and adding you can get IE and IB so so the IE value is we get 2.89 milliampere and the IB will be 0 0.107 milliampere then I can get IC is equal to IE minus IB so IE minus IB so which is so 2.89 minus 0 0.107 so 2.783 milliampere so this is IC, IB and IB and what is the condition we should uh, satisfy IB should be greater than IB minimum so we got 0 0.107 milli and uh, what is the uh, formula for IB mean IC by beta so what is IC 2.783 milli by beta which is 100 so 0 0.107 milliampere is greater than 0 0.0278 milliampere so is it satisfying yes so the transistor is in saturation region so once it is in saturation region and we need to find V naught also so for that for that I will uh, redraw the circuit again so this is the circuit so 3 kilo ohm minus 10 volts this is V naught and we assume this is I mean we assumed and we got the saturation region only so it is 0.8 volts and this is 0.2 volts and we know IE is equal to 2.89 milliampere IB we got 0 0.107 milliampere and IC we got 2.783 milliampere right so then we need to find V naught which is also equal to collector voltage so for that we need VE voltage if I know VE then I can find VC because we know VEB sat is equal to 0.8 volts which can be written as VE minus VB similarly VEC sat is 0.2 volts which can be written as VE minus VC if I know VE I can find VC so VC is nothing but V naught so how to find V so this is the emitter terminal so emitter voltage but see the current direction current direction is going something like this so what is the polarity across the resistance so it is plus minus if I want this voltage so it will be plus minus so I always to measure 
between reference terminus. So simply write KVL. So plus IE into RE and it is touching with plus. So plus VE is equal to 0. So what is VE? Minus IE into RE. So what is a small RE? Yeah, small RE. So minus 2.89 milli into 500 ohms. So it will be 2.89 into 500 so milli means 1.445 minus volts this is VE now here you may get doubt actually in PNP transistor emitter should be more compared to the base so for that I should find VB also to uh, cross check VB, VEB will be 0.8 or not so for that so I know IB which is flowing like this so how to find VB again same plus minus KVL so minus VB plus IB into 7K minus 3 is equal to 0 so VB will be minus 3 plus 0 0.107 milli into 7K so kilo milli can so VB will be something like this minus 3 plus 0 0.107 into 7 so it is minus 2.251 volts so we got ve minus 1.445 and this is minus 2.25 so what is ve b now ve minus vb minus 1.445 minus of minus 2.251 so what is this ve b will we get 0.8 or not we'll see minus so into minus 1 plus sorry minus 1.445 so it is 0 0.806 volts because minus of minus 2.2 .2, so it is a large value so 2.25 minus 1.445 so we got correct value so VE we, we got we C we need to find and we know VEC so finally VEC is equal to 0 0.2 which is equal to VE minus VC so what is VC now VC is equal to VE minus 0.2 0 0.2 so what is VE minus 1.445 minus 0 0.2 so this will be minus 1.2 sorry 246645 uh, volt so this is the VC which is also called as V0 minus 1.645 volts so again we will conclude so VE minus 1.445 volts VB minus 2.251 this is VC or V naught minus 1.645 so P and P and here so this is minus 2.251 minus 1.445 now see when I compare these two VE will be more compared to this because this is small right so forward bias now this is P this is N so P minus 1.6 this is minus 2 so P is I mean P type uh, semiconductor is connected to more positive voltage compared to this so forward bias so forward bias forward bias so saturation region right so I hope it is clear next we'll see one more question so So here we need to find RC and RB values in the circuit shown and VCC VBB given and IC is given for this 10 milliampere we need to find RC and RB and VC is also given beta is given VBE points so it's a very simple one so 10 volts VBB 5 volts so how to find RC and RB so we need to assume the transistor is in active region so if it is an active it is 0 0.7 volt and VCE is also given 5 volts and if you recall so this emitter is connected to ground what is VE? 0 if this is 0 what will be this voltage? VB 0 0.7 right because 0 0.7 minus 0, 0.7 similarly what can be this voltage? VC 5 volt because VE is 0 that is something like this 
So VBE is equal to VB minus VE which is equal to 0.7 if it is in active region. So VE is connected to 0 that means VB is 0.7 volt. Similarly VCE is given 5 volts so that means VC minus VE is equal to 5 volts so VE is 0 so VC means 5 volts. Then we will find what is RB and RC. So IC is given 10 milliampere. So if I see the current directions, so NPN transistor, this is IE, this is IP, and this is IC. So and it is given 10 milliamperes. So simply we will apply Ohm's law. So IC is equal to VCC minus this VC by RC. How apply KVL something like this here. So minus VCC plus IC into RC. So I need this VC voltage. So plus minus ground. Plus VC is equal to 0. Then we can get IC like this. So what is VCC? 10 volts. VC we got 5 volts by RC. And IC given 10 milliampere. So RC is 5 by 10 kilo. So it is 500 ohms is the RC. Similarly, we can find RB like this. But before that, what is IB? IC by beta. So because IC is equal to beta times IB. So this is given 10 milli. What is beta given? 100. So this will be 10 microamperes. This is IB. So again, if I apply KVL like this, minus 5 volt plus IB into RB plus 0.7 is equal to 0. See, that's it. So, IB RB is equal to 4.3. So, IB 10 micro. So, RB is equal to 4.3 by 10 micro. So, this will be 0.43 mega ohms. Is it correct? 0.43 micro is going to top 10 to the 4 6. This is RB. Otherwise, if I multiply with uh, 1000, it will be 43 kilo ohms. Now I think it is 430 kilo ohms. So, this is something like this. So, I think I got uh, somewhere wrong. So, what is this 10 milli by 100? So, it is 0 0.1 milliampere, or we can say 100 micro. So, so please uh, make sure that it is. 100 microamperes so this is 100 micro that means so this will be 4.3 by 100 into 10 to the power 6 so two zeros so, yeah so rb is 43 kilo ohm, not for 430 kilo ohms. why because so here i got uh, wrong so ib is actually 100 microamperes so rb 43 kilo ohm rc 500 ohms next we will see one more question So again now we need to find the transistor uh, uh, mode of operation 3 kilo ohm 50 kilo ohm ib and ic current directions 5 volts 10 volts so find whether or not the silicon transistor is in saturation and find ib and ic beta is given very simple so i will assume it is in active region so emitter is connected to ground so this will be 0.7 if i apply kvl minus 5 plus IB into 50 kilo plus 0.7 is equal to 0 so IB will be 4.3 by 50 kilo so this will be 4.3 divided by 50 0 0.086 milliamps then what is IC beta times IB so beta times IB means 100 times so it will be 8.6 milliampere so and now we need to see that collector by junction is reverse bias or not so from this we can find VBE is 0 0.7 emitter is connected to ground that means this is nothing but VB is equal to 0 0.7 so how to find VC simple VC is equal to VCC minus ICRC or apply KV like this so VC is 10 volt minus IC into 3 kilo so 10 minus IC 8.6 milli into 3k 
kilo milli cancel see 3618 so it is 25.8 10 see minus 15.8 volts the VC so VC we should get positive in NPN transistor so this is minus 15.8 this is 0.7 which by us see this is N this is P so P side is connected to more positive compared to N side so forward bias so this is forward bias this is forward bias so the transistor is in saturation region but we assume it in active so that is wrong again we will assume this is in a saturation region that means VBE sat 0.8 volts VCE sat 0.2 volts then we can find IB IC so, so you try on your own so take it as 0.8 volts this is 0.2 that means this is 0.2 volts this is 0.8 volts and I can find directly like this IB will be 5 minus 0.8 by 50 kilo right this is the IB IC will be 10 minus 0.2 by 3 kilo so it is 9.8 by 3 milliamps this is uh, 4.2 by 50 milliamperes right so this is about this question you see finally one more question so this is the same circuit if I add this 2 kilo ohm resistance the see the mode of operation of this transistor so it will uh, come into active region so again the same uh, no, uh, calculations we need to do so pause the video try to do on your own so again if I assume this is in active region so 0 0.7 volt so this is the IC this is IE and this is IP so apply so not here please only KVL here that is so minus 5 volt plus IB into 50 kilo ohm plus 0.7 plus IE into 2 kilo ohm. so minus 5 plus IB into 50 kilo plus 0.7 plus IE into 2 kilo is equal to 0 so this is IB into 50k plus IE into 2k is equal to 4.3 now using this equation we can find either IE or IB because we know IE is equal to IB plus IC and we know IC is beta times IB in common emitter so if I replace here what is IE? IE is IB plus beta IB so this will come out as beta plus 1 times of IB so always remember IE and IB relation is IE is equal to beta plus 1 times of IB so if I substitute here so this will be IB into 50k plus IB into beta plus 1 into 2k is equal to 4.3 so what will be IB it is 4.3 by 50k plus beta plus 1 that is 101 into 2k so what is IB will become come out as 4.3 divided by 50 kilo into sorry plus 101 into 2 kilo so it is see 17.1 microampere I can take IB then we can find IC that is 100 times into 100 so we'll get 1.71 milliamps so I is approximately equal to this also plus 17.1 e power minus 6 so it is 1.72 milliamps this is IB, IC and IE. So finally we should verify that VC and VB values. So for that see there is an emitter resistance so emitter voltage. So base, base voltage will come directly if I know VE. Then we have to find VC also. So that is by using KVL applying here. So first we will see VE. So VE will be directly I can write. See across this see the current direction so it is flowing like this so it is plus minus so nothing but VE VE is equal to IE into RE so 1.72 milli into 2 kilo to cancel out so this will be 4 4 and 3.44 volt is the VE and we know VBE is equal to 0.7 that means VB minus VE is equal to 
0.7 then VB will be 3.4 plus 0.7 so 3.44 plus 0.7 so it will be 4.14 volts so this is the VB that we can verify by applying KVL also that you can do and how to find VC finally simple apply KVL up to VC so minus 10 plus IC into 3 kilo plus VC is equal to 0 because plus minus so at this terminal to reference terminal so VC is equal to 10 minus IC we got 1.71 milli into 3 kilo kilo milli cancel out so 1.71 into 3 minus 10 if I take it is 4.87 volts see VC we got 4.87 and VB 4.14 so VC is greater than VB because VB we got 4.14 volt so because it is a NPN transistor this is VC 4.87 this is 4.14 not 4.14 now see this is N this is P so N side more voltage so reverse bias so here VE we got 3.44 so PN so P side more voltage so forward bias so which region active region so whatever we assumed correct so what is the difference between the previous problem and this one is by adding this uh, emitter resistance the transistor is changing its mode of operation from saturation to active region so by changing this component I mean there is a passive component uh, values we can change the transistor mode of operation because the current is changing so voltages will change right so this is about uh, these five problems so if you are hanging any doubt please post a comment in the next lecture I will solve similar problems but I will take uh, questions from the gate exam right